We're still working in 2.2, more information about functions. And in this section, we're going to look at even and odd functions. A function is even if for every f of negative x is equal to f of x. Um, it is symmetric about the y-axis. So you have a mirror image on the left of the y-axis as the right of the y-axis. Uh, and this is called an even function. An odd function, f of negative x is equal to the opposite of f of x uh, for all x in the domain. An odd function is symmetric about the origin. So if you rotate it 180 degrees, are they the same? Uh, a quick rule to use when you're looking at it, if all the exponents are even, the function is even. If all the exponents are odd, the function is odd. Let's look at this example. Um, f of x is x to the third plus 8x plus 6. Is it even, odd, or neither? Um, the exponent of x cubed, this is 3, that's odd. Of 8x, this is 1, that's odd. But if you don't have a variable, remember that is x to the 0, which is even. So you have a mixture. Um, so let's have a look at it if we're doing it by the definition. So if we look at f of negative x, and we have to plug that negative x into each one, and clean it up. All right? And if it's even, it gives us back the original in that definition. Right? This is not the original because these two signs have switched. Right? If it's odd, plugging it in gives us back the opposite. So if we switched all these signs to the opposite, so negative x cubed, negative 8x minus 6. Uh, it doesn't quite do that because of this one. So this is neither. Let's look at a few examples with this to determine whether each of the following is even, odd, or neither. Um, from the equation on this function, um, our exponents are both odd. This one, it's going to be odd, which means it is going to be symmetric to the origin. Uh, if you did snip it here and you rotate it around 180 degrees, it would look like the other side would be the same. Uh, so it is odd, and that is what one symmetric around the origin would look like. We can double check it algebraically. So if we plug in negative x into each of the x's, now this is not necessary, I just want to show you that it works. We get back negative x cubed, two negatives here make positive 6x, right? And our two definitions, if you plug in negative x and you get back the original, it's symmetric, um, it's even, or symmetric to y. And if you plug in negative x and you get back the opposite of the original, so that would be negative x cubed plus 6x, then it's odd with symmetry to the origin. And that is what we got back. So we have symmetry to the origin. This next one is an example of an even function. Uh, you can tell visually uh, that it is symmetric to the y-axis. It's just a mirror image flipped across that y-axis. Um, with the little shortcut, the exponents are both even, so it is even. We can test it algebraically just to see how it works. So if we plug negative x Now 
right? Raising a negative to an even power is going to give you positive. Also here, raising a negative to an even power is going to give you positive. This is identical to the original, and that is the definition of an even function. For our next one, um, with the shortcut, our exponents, we have a 2 and we have a 1 uh, so and a 0. So they are not all the same. Uh, so that kicks that part out. Looking at the picture, it is a symmetric picture, but it is not symmetric around the y-axis. Uh, the picture is slid over. So it's not going to be considered even. Um, let's look at it. If we plug negative x in, negative x squared will give us positive x squared. This piece will give us negative 2x, and the plus 1 stays the same. Um, you match it back for the original. The x squared is the same, but this minus 2x is not the same. Uh, so it does not give you back the original, so it is not even. Uh, it is not odd because odd is the opposite of all of them. So it is neither. This last one doesn't give us an equation. Um, it gives us a picture. Uh, it is certainly not symmetric to y, uh, so it is not even. And if you rotate it around, um, snip it here and rotate it 180 degrees, it is not going to give you back um, the same picture in the other one. So this is going to be neither. I'm just going to add this last part on because of the way my math lab asked some of the questions. Um, even an odd symmetry is really more standard to talk about than the way my math lab asks about it, but I want you to be able to do the questions. So they talk about Symmetry with respect to the y-axis, this is like an even function. You plug negative x into x, do you get back the original? If so, it's, it is even, it's um, symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Uh, they talk about symmetry with respect to the x-axis. Now, if it's symmetric to, to the x-axis, it's not going to be a function. Uh, you can use a vertical line test and hit it twice. Um, so in a function section, this doesn't really even belong, but it is in my math lab. So to answer this question, you substitute negative y into y. Does it give you back the original? If so, then it's going to be symmetric to x. Right? Um, in their questions, when they ask, uh, is there symmetry with respect to the origin? Again, I'm, we're working with something that is not in function notation, right? It is not a function. Um, you could not isolate y and not have two answers. You would have y equals plus or minus on this. Um, but to work this question in my math lab, you will substitute negative x into x and negative y into y, and does it give back the original? Uh, so let's just work on this, and first let's answer uh, symmetry to y. All right? So if we try that, that says substitute negative x into x. All right? So if we put negative x into the x, we get back the original. So this is going to be symmetric to the y-axis. We'll do the same problem. And if we're looking for symmetry to the x-axis, substitute negative y into y. You can get the idea when you're squaring these, it's going to give you back the same.
gives back the same. So this shows symmetry to x. If you're looking for symmetry to the origin, um, do them both. So we will substitute um, negative x and negative y. And it gives back the original. So this is symmetric to the origin. And that is just to help you out with the My Math Lab problems, but you don't have this page in your packet.